everyone loves the map, everyone loves the globe. It's because it connects with the imagination. And what I really like about them is they're real. You know, you're talking about reality, but it's an absolute leap into the imagination. 2019 marks the 250th anniversary of the birth of the geologist William Smith. In 1815, Smith produced a geological map of England, Wales and Scotland. And it was a real moment in the study of geology. That map has been described as the map that changed the world. That phrase has sort of stimulated my interest in how we perceive the world in a different way. It was that that led me to become interested in Cathy's work. Invisible Dust have commissioned me to exhibit my work, which is to do with hand colouring maps. So it connects with William Smith's work. I've worked with maps since I was in college and in some ways I've tried to veer away from working with maps, but I've always come back or it's always come back into my practice. I started colouring in the maps because it's almost like an impulse when you see squares to colour them in. Through doing that, some aspects of the map start to reveal themselves that wouldn't reveal themselves otherwise. So that's the kind of impetus for me. I'm looking at it to see what I can reveal or not reveal, but also it kind of reduces it to something that's more understandable. Like, for example, the map of Mount Fuji. When it's painted in, it looks almost like the centre of a tree trunk and tree rings. So it actually connects with nature in a much more tangible way. Cathy never hides from the fact that the map is a functional object, but what she does by the way she manipulates them and modifies them throws up ideas around how we, as humans, have impacted on the land. These are kind of ones that I've started, I've left for various reasons while I'm thinking about them. Maybe I quite like this bit, but then wasn't so sure when they connect with something else. I'll go through them all again and see if something starts making sense. Maps are snapshots of the moment they were made in, and they're made for particular purposes, and they have to be thought about in the moment, and not simply as a stage for getting to the present, but in, in their particular context. The Royal Holloway Geography Department inherited a large map collection from Bedford College, and maps were central to the teaching of geography from the start. Cathy picked out some hand-coloured geological maps, these particular maps, they're really powerful in getting us to think about the importance of maps within this kind of teaching, and a teaching that was mainly done by women at that time. Smith is often described as the father of geology, and that language I found quite interesting because it reflects the fact that um, historically men have always been the holders of scientific knowledge. These maps were created by young female geologists at a time when it was still very difficult for women to participate in the public sphere. I think it's interesting, William Smith, he wasn't given the recognition because he wasn't an educated person. The maps are about power, about boundaries, about borders, 
And it is fact, but what you're not talking about is what's omitted. And the decision making and what goes on a map is to do with the powers that be.